Hey everybody, welcome to Elite Rose Tarot. It's your girl Rose, and I'm here to do another Divine Masculine and My Feminine Twin Flame Energy Reading for you guys. I hope everybody's doing fine. Uh, welcome if you're new. Shout out to all the subscribers. I truly, truly appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for uh, coming in, stopping by, supporting the channel. I truly appreciate it. So let's get straight into this today. Let's see what we got going on. Uh, okay, so straight out the gate, we got someone needs to take a trip. Uh, <laughs> go see some shit, do some new things, talk to people cooler than you. So somebody needs to take some rest and relaxation. Uh, we got drop that ego. Vulnerability is hot. <laughs> and then we got stop obsessing. You are not the center of the universe. So right now, mm, it's kind of looking like a combination of you and this, like, it's like divine feminine and divine masculine. Uh, one right now, somebody does need to take a trip. Uh, somebody does need some relaxation. Somebody needs to drop their ego. And then somebody else needs to stop obsessing. So we're going to get into that. We're going to put some tarot on that and see what that's about. All right. So we got the world in reverse. We got victory in reverse. And we got queen of wands. There is a karmic here. So, hmm. 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 Look at this drop this ego card. Vulnerability is hot as fuck is what it says. So somebody was in their ego. I have the world in reverse. This is somebody that is not equipped with the tools that they need to survive in the world. <laughs> the world in reverse is like you're, you're not using your intuition. You're not using your gifts. You're just not. Um, and there's no victory here. You got six of wands in reverse. There's no victory. You know, the victory is lost. You got a queen of wands here, though. There's somebody that's not manifesting, somebody that's not going within, somebody that's not um, making moves. This is somebody that just doesn't, you know, she just doesn't. What is going on here, spirit? Who, what's going on with this, this queen of wands here? Why is she here? What's, who is this queen of wands? And she just kind of came out of nowhere. Mm. So the Queen of Wands in reverse is somebody that, uh, you know, somebody, I'm not, I'm just going to say to my masculine, I don't know if this is you, take it how it resonates, but this is somebody that you was trying to build something with. You were trying to build uh, upon this relationship at one point. You were building on it, and it's somebody that you don't want to let go of, or maybe they don't want to let go of you. What else is going on here, spirit? What else is going on here with this Queen of Wands in reverse that somebody was building with and didn't want to let go of because it looks like this person is not guided by spirit like they don't they're not they're not tapped in to their intuition they're not tapped into their gifts they don't you know they're they're not using the elements you got the tower here and you got ten of pentacles in reverse so this was again this is somebody that this is somebody divine masculine was in a, a relationship with that didn't work out because you got the tower. You got the tower here. Um, but why do we have this eight of pentacles spirit and this uh, four of pentacles here? Like we've got the tower and somebody that, but why, why is why is this person still holding on to this situation is what I really would like to know. Like why are they still holding on to this spirit? This person is still holding on because they are not willing to walk away. They don't want to walk away, literally, okay? And it's like they don't realize what they have. They can't, they can't see the trees for the forest. They can't see what they have. They don't see what they have in front of them. They really don't. And because they don't see what they have in front of them, it's like you have five of wands in reverse. They don't want to fight. They don't want to fight about it. They, they don't see what they have, and then they don't want to fight at the same time. It's kind of weird. Um, but this person is not willing to let go of this, this whole situation here didn't work, whatever it was, it wasn't, it wasn't guided by spirit. You know, there was no, um, nobody was really using spirit. Nobody was really, um, going in with vulnerability, drop the fucking ego, right? Um, vulnerability is hot as fuck. Nobody was being vulnerable in this situation. So it caused problems. It caused y'all to have this tower, but 
why are y'all still holding on to this energetically is my question because you got five of wands in reverse this person no longer wants to fight with this queen of wands in reverse and maybe they feel like they don't have shit this page of pentacles in reverse is kind of like this person doesn't feel like they have shit so they don't fight with this person but at the same time they don't walk away from this person either and that's literally how i'm interpreting that this is a mess of a situation that somebody got themselves into, but at the same time, they won't walk away from it because they feel like maybe they won't have anything and they don't want to fight anymore. You got the Wheel of Fortune. This is coming to an end, though. This is faded. This is coming to an end. This is coming to an end. Seven of Swords and the Lovers in Reverse. I mean, it's like... This is coming to an end because this person is a liar. This person is very sneaky and very manipulative. And you have the lovers in reverse. It's like it didn't it didn't work. I feel like I am getting queen the queen of wands energy here explaining to me what happened. So I'm starting to be honest with you. I feel like the karmic is telling me what happened in this situation with the divine masculine. And what she's saying is, and we're going we gonna to listen to what she's saying, queens. We're going to listen to it because we want her to bring herself up and we heard, want her to be a queen too. What she's saying is this. He lied too much. He lied all the fucking time. He manipulated the situation completely and totally. And now we got the lovers in reverse. Neither one of us wanted to do anything with this situation. But I think also, whoever this karmic is, I'm going to be real with you, Ma. It's like it was fated for you to go through this shit. It's almost like it was fated for you to go through this lesson with this divine masculine because you're supposed to level up. Spirit said you're supposed to. Look, right now, I'm talking to the karmic right now. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to talk to the karmic. If you're the one that's not willing to let go, if it's you, Spirit said, fuck is you doing? Stop obsessing. Stop obsessing over this person. You are not the fucking center of the universe, especially for this person. Stop obsessing over it. You got to elevate. But she's saying, look, divine feminine. She's saying the same thing. He did the same shit to me. He did the same shit to me. Look at that. Ten of wands came out. It was a burden. He did the same shit to me. He put the same burdens on me. And I said, I can't do it no more. Because you got, she said she can't. You got the lovers in reverse. So it wasn't like he just, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you'll get into a relationship with somebody else and they'll tell you, oh, yeah, she was crazy or he was crazy or, oh, I couldn't deal. Why? I always want to know. Well, that's a red flag to me. When you tell me that other person was crazy, I know it was your ass that was crazy. I want to know what happened. Have Give me more of details of maybe it just didn't work. We were on two different paths. But don't tell me that person's crazy because everybody ain't crazy, okay? Now, you got a queen of swords in the upright here. Queen of Swords and Upright. Um, Queen of Swords and Upright and the Ten of Wands in Reverse. That was you too, Divine Feminine. You said shit. Yeah, it was a burden. Wow. Both of y'all talking. Okay. Okay, Queens. Let's go. Let's go. Got Queen of Wands in Reverse. Got Queen of Swords in the Upright. Divine Feminine said, I'm here too. Hey, I'm here. Guess what? He was a burden on me too. He was a burden on me too. Damn. Okay, ladies. Being very cordial. I appreciate it. Let's see what else. King of Swords in reverse. <laughs> so the lady started talking. So Divine Feminine was like, uh-uh, no, no. Divine Masculine came right back on that ass. It was like, no, no, no. Y'all need to be talking. Y'all need to be talking. Because the truth is, I got bored with both of y'all. I was bored with both of y'all. Come on. We don't want to hear that shit. King of Swords, you're being a karmic right now. Divine Masculine, you're being karmic right now. You're, being, you're, you're in that karmic vibe right now. Now he's trying to say he was no longer, uh, he wasn't interested in the situation anymore. With the, with the karmic, which one you talking about? Because you're just talking shit right now. Who you talking about that you wasn't interested in no more? <laughs> These cards started to get a little live. What is going on here? Okay. So it's like, you know what? He's, he's being honest. He said, I, wasn't, I was acting like I wasn't interested. Um, it was a gift from spirit. It was a gift from spirit. But I wasn't going within. I was in hermit mode in reverse. I wasn't going within. I knew who she was to me. He's talking about you, Divine Feminine. I knew who you were to me. But I acted like I was bored. I acted like I wasn't interested. I acted like I didn't give a shit. 
literally. And right now, I'm, I'm, I'm truly regretting it. I'm truly regretting it. So, because right now, the Divine Feminine, this is Divine Masculine, is still holding on to the situation with this karmic. And the karmic, you're still holding on to the situation with him as well. It's like y'all are both holding on to each other energetically. And I don't know why. Um, there could be some type of family situation. It could be a business. It's something that you two um, have to co coexist together. Um, but at the end of the day, whoever this karmic is, you got to level up and know you will worth more because divine feminine definitely knows her worth. And this 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 divine masculine, which is not a divine masculine right now, because right now he's coming up as a karmic, guys. He's coming up very karmic. And guess what? He's coming up as your karmic counterpart. And this happened in the other reading. He's the counterpart of you, but he's in a karmic vibe right now. He's not leveled up enough. Um, and it's, it's, it's really, he's up at night because he knows the way he treated you, Divine Feminine. He's starting to see a pattern within himself. He's starting to see the way he treated this person. Yeah, she's a queen of wands in reverse. She's a karmic, but you chose her. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, you got to start looking at yourself. You got to start, you got to bring this hermit in the upright. And you got to start looking at all of this dark shit on this table and wonder why did you put yourself through this shit? Why do you put others through this shit? Strength. King of Pentacles in reverse. If you don't stay strong, and I'm thinking this is really for divine masculine, because you keep coming up as a king. Like it's king, but it's a king in reverse. You have to stay strong. Because right now you're coming up as King of Pentacles in reverse. You come with King of Swords in reverse. You don't know clarity. You don't have clear thoughts on what you want to do. You can't make a decision on who you want to be with. Oh, do I want to be with her? Do I want to be with her? Nobody has time. Like, this is not a competition between... Let me explain something to you. You cannot put these two people in competition with each other. They, they can't. This is a Queen of Swords. This is a Queen of Wands. She's in upright. She's in reverse. They don't match. There is no competition. She won. Each time. Okay? She's leveled up. That's why she keeps leaving. She can't leave until she levels up. She's got to level up in order to leave. But at this point, you have to understand divine masculine. Shit, this is you, bro. This is you. You coming up twice. King of Swords in reverse. You're not clear. You don't have guidance. You don't know what it's the decision that you need to make. Your sword is down. You've not made a decision. That will, in, in reverse, it's up. But it's like you're, you're not making a decision. King of Pentacles, you're losing out on money. You're losing out on opportunities because you can't make a decision. You need to know how to make a decision. You want to leave, but you don't know where you're going? Come on, man. You need to walk away from the situation and you refuse to. Six of swords in reverse. Like, you just refuse to walk away from the situation? You gonna keep holding on to this karmic situation? Okay. Well, then you two karmics be karmics together. Because that's all divine feminine is gonna say. And you you up at night about this person, but you still carrying on. It's too much. It's, this is a lot, guys. This is a lot. This is a mess. This is a mess. But I'm gonna say to the karmic, it ain't gonna stop until you let it, until you walk the hell away from it. You got the emperor in reverse, and you got justice. I mean, man, the the masculine energy on this board is a karmic. Like he's just reverse, reverse, reverse. You got the emperor in reverse. You got justice. Um, it's gonna be justice for him though. There's gonna be justice coming for this emperor in reverse. There's justice coming. This is somebody that. That once they wear their, their way, they want to reign supreme. You know, they want to do things the way that they want to do things. But when and you're you're and you're in a leader mode, but when you in that 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 reverse, whoa, you don't care who you have to step on to get what you need. It's like there's no empathy. This person has like no empathy. Whoever they are, it's like they really don't. Sorry, I have all of these cards that were flipping. Okay, so we got seven of cups. We got Page of Wands and we got the Five of Swords. So again, somebody definitely needs to be careful of the choices they choose. Definitely, you got Seven of Cups, Page of Wands, New Desires, and you got this Five of Swords. So it's like somebody's got a choice to make on a new desire, but it's a conflict here. It's just confusion. I felt like that's you, that's you again. Like the right masculine, you've got to figure this out. Everything is not a competition. Everything is not a competition. Everything is not, not a game. Everything is not a game, especially with this person. This Nine of Pentacles, she don't have time to play these games with you. She's working on her empire. You have this Knight of Pentacles, again, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. You're coming slow and you're coming steady, but you're coming as a karmic. Um, and you're coming with, like, the, the intentions you're coming with aren't pure. 
So she's, I don't know. Let me see what Divine Feminine wants to say. Okay, that's what I was going to say. She's like, I'm not juggling. I'm not with this shit anymore. You're not going to be able to juggle me in this situation with you and your karmic. I do not want this union anymore. And here he comes again. Now he's upright. He's coming again. He's trying to offer it to you. He's going to keep offering it. So let's get <laughs> let's get some affirmations because literally divine feminine, he's going to chase you to the end of time. And also he's going to hold on to this karmic situation until the end of time. So you basically are on the right path doing what you got to do. And for this karmic, you know, why are you holding on to this situation? I don't know. But again, spirit says stop obsessing. Divine masculine, you need to drop that fucking ego. Divine Feminine, you need to take a trip. That's basically what Spirit is saying. Go get a, a facial. Go get a massage. Go take some time. Gratitude. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. Because that is the fun, that is the vibe that Divine Feminine is on. She's not worried about none of this nonsense right here. Humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. Divine Feminine is focusing on the lighter side of life. She is not worried about this. This is not a concern of hers. This is not a concern. <laughs> She's more like, look... You can clean up your shit. Envy. I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. This here, I don't know if this is going to the karmic, because this, this reading kind of got interesting. It's like I'm talking to three people. And this is like, for that queen of wands in reverse, what do you, th there's no reason to be envious of this divine feminine, because guess what? You are divine too. You just need to go within and you need to, you need to meditate. You need to use your intuition. You need to tell this person no, and you need to set boundaries the way that Divine Feminine did. But there's no reason to envy her. There's no reason for that. You know what I mean? You have the same thing in you if you was to hire your vibe, get your vibe up. You know what I mean? Get, that didn't make sense, but raise your vibration. Because to live in envy of somebody else is for what? And the only reason, let me tell you something. This is the only reason you're living in this envy. is because this person, where is he? Where is he? This person... Can't think straight, can't make a damn decision, can't make a decision, and doesn't know how to let go. This person is going to constantly hold on to you, and you're going to constantly be in this mindset. You got to let this person go so that you can realize that you are worth it, that you are enough, okay? That you are worthy of love from somebody that doesn't have to put you in a juggling situation. Happiness. You're worth your happiness. I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. And that's for divine feminine and this karmic. Your happiness is everything. Start learning how to take care of your peace because this person is not worth it. Patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. Have the patience to take the time for yourself. And I'm talking to the queens out there. Take time for yourself because this right here, this is too much. This person is putting you through way too much. And all it does is it distracts the hell out of you. It takes you off of your path. It takes you off of your purpose. And you're supposed to be doing something so much greater than this shit here. Okay? All right. I hope that resonated with somebody. Definitely take the time. Take a trip. If you can't take a trip because everything going on, get yourself a massage. Go get your nails done. Go get your feet done. Go buy you some flowers. But do something for yourself. Okay? I hope that resonated with you guys. I thank you so much for hanging out with me. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks. Bye.